Yo, it's your boy Marcus from Morstini back with another video. And today we have an absolute banger of a video for you guys. It is going to be ranking every COD M prestige weapon um, in the game. So there are 11 COD M prestige weapons. And in order to get one, you have to get three legendary or better weapon variants. Um, so like it could be mythics. It could be just three legendaries. It just kind of depends on how you want to do it, what you want to buy. But that's usually going to run you about $375 if you have to pay for the full draw. If you get lucky, it could be a lot less. Um, I unfortunately never get lucky, so I don't get to pay less. I have to pay a crap ton of money like I did for this Hades right here. Um, but yeah, coming in at number 11, we have the Durandal. Um, in terms of criteria, man, I feel like being reactive is what most of these are, but having like kill effects or reactive effects on the gun gives you bonus points. Whereas this doesn't have that. And while it doesn't have that, it does have like a pretty nice color palette. I think it's okay. Um, compared to a lot of these other ones, it's absolutely garbage, but it it is just underwhelming compared to what we would get after it. Um, and for good reason, um, even, even what we got before it with the death scythe, that was better than this. This is just a overwhelming letdown from pretty much all regards and it's on the agr which is a gun that sucked for pretty much the entire life cycle of this game number 10 the lycanthrope i could understand you guys wanting to put this up higher because it does look really cool but my only problem is who has this who was like oh my god the prestige weapon this season is the lycanthrope na45 nobody likes na45 that has any sort of skill level um it's a completely cheesy gun it's been nerfed into the ground like it's nowhere near as good as it once was so it is wholeheartedly deserving of this spot solely because of the gun it's on number nine the particle splitter which goes on the sks um i can understand flip-flopping this with the lycanthrope but even though that one looks cooler the sks particle splitter is a lot more useful in both mp and br and it, it's pretty much the best gun in the game it gives you a better iron sight and it does have these pretty dope wings that come off the side of the gun which i think a lot of people will like as a feature in terms of like inspects and how the gun looks and things of that nature but one problem i have it has the same color palette as the durandal it's almost like they wanted to copy and paste it but they couldn't or something number eight goes to the kuro maku uh ak-47 this is a very useful one but it is uh not that great i i'll be honest with you i do love how these flowers flow these like flower petals flow around the gun and it is like a reactive camo on the base version of it without that but is it really deserving of being higher there's just a lot of them that are just that much better than this and it sucks but this is a really cool one i think we're getting into the ones that are much better than like they're not bad they're just like mid or good um and so this kind of just falls by the wayside because of that. So, yep. I also believe that this is from Black Ops 4. Like almost a copy and paste. Maybe without the reactive pedals. But the actual base version of it without that. I think is straight from BO4. Um, if somebody actually knows that. Feel free to comment that down below. Because I think that is the case. Um, but overall, it's a solid, it's a solid one. And we'll just kind of leave it at that. So coming in here at the number 7 spot we have the arctic 50 foxfire prestige this i can understand a lot of people love this i love this um but this is the problem like we're getting into like the good ones these are all good it's just like personal preference on what you think should be better here in these next few spots and while this is reactive and i love how this like i don't know what this rope lighting is on the side changes colors and how it looks when you're aiming down sight and look at this purple phase right here it's beautiful um I do think it's just not quite good enough to be higher, but I can understand you wanting to put it higher if you understand what I'm saying. Um, the overall design with this wolf face in the front, super cool. I like it a lot. And overall, I'm almost regretting not putting it higher. I just feel like it's like tied. It's tied with these next three spots for me. And I just, it's just like, what am I gonna use the most kind of came down to determining it. And coming in at number six, my favorite gun in the game, the swordfish kalaka this is the same boat i mean a similar kind of design where it's got this face in the front of like this lizard monster thing but look at that reactive phase right there that is gorgeous the base weapon 
with this uh, purple purpley stock thing in the back pretty cool but as it gets more reactive it gets better and better and better and it's just absolutely awesome i think they did an amazing job with this um from a design perspective and i should probably be putting it higher but i don't want too much bias in here because this is my favorite gun the swordfish is my favorite gun in cod mobile and probably in all of console cards as well so i'm trying not to let that affect it but i do really love this i wish i had it um i wish when you got your mythic like when you hit the three and you could get your prestige weapon you could pick it um because i would have picked this 110 percent, even though i already have a legendary swordfish so yeah definitely a top six pick here for the swordfish kalaka coming to number five though we have the hades void sender this is the only one i actually have you saw a gameplay of it uh in the beginning of the video i do think i can understand people bumping this down a couple spots um i have actually used this and it doesn't really have like pay to win iron sights or anything like that but i use the crossbar mod so i don't even use the iron sights i kind of use it like a chopper um and i have had a lot of fun with it i definitely think it's a unique where the actual straight design of it is what is so cool it's almost like a unicorn head on the end that's how i look at it and it's got those weird spikes in there on the magazine if you can see them which i definitely think is a really unique add in terms of features to add to it i really like that um it's almost like the bullets are facing out in the magazine which i had never even thought about until just now recording this video so that's it for the void center coming in number four we have the ghoul bound this is the last one where i think this middle tier here is like questionable it's like really personal preference and i when i first looked at this i was like man they really did a good job with the theme um with the magazine looking the way it looks uh with the reactive flame slowing upward the flame slowing backward the chain to the uh stock from the grip then you have the uh blade or what do you call that not silhouette whatever that is sticking out the front that knife i think it's just an overall solid design and it's on the hd40 which isn't necessarily the best gun it's had its time as the meta but it's definitely not necessarily the best but you could definitely use an mp and br and it's definitely a very attractive prestige weapon that i think a lot of people would agree could be higher on this list in this four spot i think it's fine but coming in here at number three we have the mx9 heartless prestige uh this was i believe the first one we got and no it wasn't the first one we got um but it does say season one right there so maybe i'm mixing it up the color can the color palette right here this like aluminum with the gold and this aqua blue that flows it is gorgeous i absolutely love it it's 10 times better than like the normal heartless one you could get um with like the red color palette i feel like this color palette is just I don't know it's just built different and look at that bullet on the side um instead of having that normal whatever you call that like release right there it's a bullet which i think is a very unique change i also love all the spikes and just the overall design for me really puts it up a little bit higher than the rest of these not to mention the dragon head facing backwards towards you as you shoot it um with some better iron sights than the original which is very nice but coming to number two, we have the Death Scythe. I think this is, these next two, I mean, they're, you can't argue these two. These are undoubtedly the two best ones. It comes on the Man of War, which is the current meta weapon. Um, it's been the meta multiple times. So it's a very useful prestige weapon to have because you can definitely use it a lot because it's really good. Um, the design though, that's where it gets me, man. Look at this. Look at how the color changes throughout each stage. And like look at it, it just turned off in the back when it hits the next stage it turns on if you flip it around to the other side in the next stage it turns on the other side super awesome design it really feels like they put a lot of time into this and i really appreciate that as somebody who plays a lot of cop mobile and is interested in a lot of these skins also the dog tags the gold dog tags in the back are like a nice accented feature to uh, kind of finish this off but the main thing that really made me want to put it to look at that hand i didn't even know that was there until i turned it over here and i was like wait there's a hand on the front of the gun um that's awesome i've it, like i said it's almost like they really put a lot more time into weapon skins during this period of caught in when this released the same thing can be said for the seasonal camos where they were more reactive and it was like they actually cared about how it looked whereas nowadays they don't care at all 
And coming at the number one spot, is it ever even a question? The AK-117 Meltdown. Um, yeah. I think this has the best, like, mythic variant as well. That one looks really good. But look how this changes reactively. It, it's just gorgeous. I mean, like, I don't have any words to describe this thing. Like, it is beautiful. The iron sights are great. The Look at the flash guard with the different holes in it. I love that. Um, maybe flash hider, my bad, guys. Um, the magazine with the spikes. The magazine changing colors a little bit there, too. It's an overall... It's also the most useful of all these, right? It's on the AK-117. That's been, like, the best gun in BR for five years next to like the ak-47 and the m4 um so super useful there it's great in multiplayer as well here and there to get a buff so i definitely think this is super useful and along with the color palette and the design i really think it deserves to be this high and without a doubt the number one spot for me personally um let me know in the comment section down below if you guys agree with this list what you think should be higher lower um I definitely think people will have some controversy with the middle tier there of uh, like seven to four, where it's kind of like, what is better there? I think that's where a lot of the questions are. But with that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. It's been your boy Marcus Omorcini. I'm out of here. Peace.